pop quiz time in 2020, what type of content took over people's Instagram feeds because it made them giggle so much? I know you're probably thinking reels because I talk about it a whole lot on this channel, but in this case, I'm talking about memes and GIFs. GIFs, GIFs, I still don't know what's right, but I've always said GIFs, so I'm saying GIFs today. Yep, you heard me right. I am talking memes and GIFs. You can actually use them to grow your business, no matter how professional your business is, no matter how professional your brand is and how professional you like to come across on the internet. Memes and GIFs are an amazing way to bring humor into your business, and who doesn't need a laugh these days? To be honest, I was kind of scared about posting memes or GIFs to my feed because I come from, you know, the Instagram travelpreneur days of, twirling in a dress in the rice fields of Bali and posting a meme or gif just seemed so ugh, like it killed my Instagram aesthetic soul and I was just too used to that from 2016 but finally in 2020 I actually pulled the trigger and I posted a meme and let me show you what my stats look like so the first time I posted a meme was when the queen's gambit was really popular in netflix and so i was able to create this and tie it back to my instagram strategy let's look at my insights okay so over 500 profile visits yes that's really good over 30,000 people reached yes there are the 1500 likes the 79 comments which I could have boosted if I replied to every comment, but more than that, it's the 92 shares and the 241 saves. I think it's those metrics that helped Instagram's algorithm see that people were loving this post, hence how it was able to reach over 30,000 people. Now let's look at my other posts because after this one did well, I definitely posted a meme or a GIF again, and I'll show you how I made this, don't worry. But again, let's look at my insights. So we have 900 134 likes, 69 comments, 91 shares, 81 saves, and still 20,000 people reached. More than that, we had 364 actions taken from my post, whether they were profile visits or website clicks. So I'm pretty happy with the performance of this latest GIF slash meme post. So it's clear to me that memes and gifts are doing really well with my audience. And again, this is coming from someone who was always trying to look perfect and have perfectly edited photos. That's just no longer the case with Instagram marketing. People are over perfection and they want to see real and they want to see humor. So now this begs the question, Elise, how do I make memes and gifts for my posts? I'm gonna walk you through how to make gifts for your posts or your Instagram stories and memes for your feed posts. Now, when it comes to making gifts, and I mean turning yourself into a GIF, I have covered this in another video right here. You can check it out. What I do is walk you through how I use a program called Unscreen to actually turn a video clip of yourself into a GIF. It's actually really easy, so I'm gonna pull up Unscreen on my phone right now and show you how to do it really quickly. So here I am on the website unscreen.com. I just popped it into my browser. Next thing I'm gonna do is say upload clip, and then I'm gonna choose take video, and I'm going to turn it around on myself and position it uh, directly so that I'm in front of the camera and film myself doing something that's GIF-like. That might not have been long enough. Let's try this. Okay, use video, let's see what they say. So now it's gonna be uploaded and once it's done, you'll see that we'll be able to remove my background. Let's see how well this turned out. And there you have it. Not too bad. You can see that the couch is flickering behind me. So I would probably reshoot this one. But just to show you how quickly I'm able to turn this into a GIF, if I'm happy with this version, all I have to do is scroll down and go to download. Now, if you get this kind of message, you can try to download it to your camera roll or just hit view. I find that view is better. From here, you can hit the download button and it will save to wherever your downloads go. Or if I just tap and hold on it, I can say add to photos. So that's what I prefer to do. Now it should be in my camera roll. Over in my camera roll, I can see that the GIF saved as a GIF. Now to bring it into my Instagram stories, for example, all I have to do is hit the select button and then choose this GIF and then hit the square at the bottom and then say copy photo. Okay, so I've copied it. Now I go over to my Instagram, go over to posting something in my stories. 
And now if I hit the cursor, then I hit paste, I can actually paste this GIF directly into my stories. So that's a really quick and easy way for you to film yourself, turn yourself into a GIF, and put that gift into your Instagram stories. Now, where I make most of my memes and gifts is through a program called Canva. And so after going through that unscreen process, it begs the question, hey, can I bring that GIF over into my Canva account and actually use it to create a post just like the ones I showed you earlier? Well, the answer to that is no, you can't currently import a GIF of yourself into your Canva account, but there is a really cool integration with Canva and Giphy that I have to show you. And this is how I make my meme posts, the ones that are getting a lot of reach and traction. Let me take you into my Canva account so I can show you what I mean. Here I am inside of my Canva account. I do have a pro account, so it's just like 10 bucks a month or something like that. Highly worth it, especially for this integration that I'm about to show you. So here's what I like to do. Go to create design. And let's say I'm going to create an Instagram post. The integration that's really key to creating memes and GIFs is all the way down here. The uh, more button is what you want to hit. And then you want to find this Giphy integration. So Canva has integrated with Giphy.com. That means all GIFs that are uploaded to Giphy.com, you can actually use for your Instagram posts. So here are some GIFs that I can choose from. Let's say I want to actually find a GIF related to a TV show I'm watching. I know Bridgerton, Bridge, Bridgerton was really popular. So if I want to pull in a GIF from a show that a lot of people are talking about, let's see what this one's saying. Okay. So I want to just kind of scope through the GIFs and see if there's one that inspires a caption. I burn for you. Okay. <laughs> there's something we can do here. So this is a scene from Bridgerton. So I'm going to pull this GIF in again, it's pulled in from giphy.com, then go over to text grab a heading block. And now I'm going to come up with something clever for my heading that relates to my business and relates to the GIF. Now, I'm not going to lie. This is kind of a skill in and of itself. You've got to have kind of a sense of humor to come up with this. So sometimes I ask my team member, thanks Kaylee. But if I were to uh, think off the top of my head, let's say if she's saying I burn for you, um, then the caption could be something like, Okay, here's what I came up with. Me, I don't care how many followers I have. That's just a vanity metric. I'll also put that in quotes. And then I can say, also me, I burn for you. So it's a little tongue in cheek on one hand saying, I don't care how many followers I have. On the other hand, I'm saying, I burn for you. I want you followers. So there you have it. Just one way that you can pull in a trending GIF and kind of make it work for your business. But again, the key is to go down here and use this Giphy integration. This is how you can make really trendy posts that to be honest, the, their reach is killing it for me. So last step, once you've designed your post, just like this one, you're going to go to the download option. And so you're going to want to download it as a video. You can see there's a couple options, but I prefer to download it as a video. And then after that, I'm going to actually upload it to my scheduling tool I use later. And that way it's going to post to my feed as a video. As we know, videos tend to get way more interaction and way more engagement than static photo posts. So this is how I would do it. Now, one more tool that I want to show you, even though Canva is kind of my go-to, the other tool that I sometimes use is called Kapwing. And this is a really great place to create memes. So here I am in my Kapwing account. And if you go over to tools and then templates, you can actually find what trending memes are happening. It actually curates it for you and then choose from one of these trends, one of these templates and make it work for your business. So, Kapwing is letting me know what kind of memes are trending. You can see here, there's the Twitter design. Let's see. I've seen this one a few times too, where you have the needle. Let's go to the top. Let's say the person of the year one is doing really well. That's what I can use for my business. So I've clicked on it. Then I can go over to make it. And then it's pretty easy to edit from there. So person of the year, 
um, from Time Magazine, I can replace the image and put it, you know, let's say maybe an image of yourself or an image of your client, but you're just gonna go ahead and upload whatever you have. You get where I'm going with this, right? You can use this tool to see what's trending in terms of memes. And then it's a pretty easy tool to edit and create your posts for your Instagram feed. So there you have it, all the tools that I use today to make memes and GIFs for my Instagram feed or my Instagram stories. And again, for the full blown tutorial on how to turn yourself into a GIF, check out this video here. Of course, I have more videos related to Instagram marketing for your business all over this channel. So poke around, check them out. Now, after you've made your first meme or your first GIF post, you might be wondering, Okay, I went through all that. What do I say in the caption? Well, I have something exciting for you. It's called Caption Vault. What it is, is 300 done for you caption templates that I've already written for you. I'm talking over 20,000 words, but they were written specifically for you as a business so that your caption actually gets leads and it gets sales for your business. What I've done with the 300 caption templates is categorize them by what you offer. So if you're a coach, you get 100 caption templates. If you're a service provider, you get 100. And if you're a product creator, you also get 100 caption templates. So this is a huge time saver for you, especially after you've gone through the trouble of making a meme or a GIF. Go ahead and head to captionvault.co to check out Caption Vault today. And I'll also leave the link right below this video. And PS, the results are coming in. These caption templates work for business owners. Just take a look at some of the results that my students have gotten using Caption Vault. To ease and revenue, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching today's training on how to make memes and GIFs for your Instagram posts to grow your business. If you liked it, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any future trainings just like this one.